one of the best text editors out there, Atom. Atom is a text editor used for writing code in different languages. It's one of the best and it's totally free for Mac, Windows, and Linux. You should surely check it out. What's up guys, HQ Media here. Welcome to the Atom basic tutorial. In this video, we will look at the basic features that needs to be in place for Atom editor to work perfectly well. And also, these features will also increase your productivity while coding. So make sure to follow up to the end of this video. We will start by downloading and installing Atom on our system. It is available for Mac OS X, Windows and Linux operating system. To install, go to atom.io and download the package, then install. So here we are at atom.io. Just click the download button. So you can get it downloaded. So, if you are using a Mac laptop, it's going to ask you this because the application is not downloaded from the Apple Store. So, just click Open. Now, we have our Atom software loaded. From here, we will start the customization. Hit the Command and the Comma key on the keyboard. This will take you to the system settings of Atom. From here on, select the Install option. So in here is where we install our packages to the Atom application. So what are packages? Packages are basically the features of Atom. So every feature that could possibly be attached to Atom is a package. Here we will install few packages that will enhance our coding experience in Atom. The first one on the list is Atom Live Server. So Atom Live Server by Jazz. Chain. Yes, so install this. So Atom Live Server helps us to also reload our browser. So, in our desktop, we have an index.html file. In this file, let's type in coding with Atom. So, we we'll save this with command S. We'll open this up with a live server. So to do this, we click Control Alt L. So here you can see we have coding with Atom. So let's type in more text. Yes, it's cool. We'll save this and we'll go back to our browser. You can see it auto reloads the browser. And don't forget the shortcut for this is Control Alt L. So the next package we're going to be looking at is the Emmet by Emmet IO, I think. So we we'll install this. So basically, this package installs all essential tools for web developers, and it also allows to create tags and attributes easily through abbreviations. So now we have our Emmet installed. So as I said. It's used to create tags and attributes easily through abbreviation. So now we're going to create an H1 tag with a class in it. So to do this, you just need to type in H1, then dots, then the name of the class. So let's call this nav and hit tab. So this automatically creates an H1 tag with a class attribute. And you can also do this for the ID. So to do this in the ID, just type in H1 and the hashtag sign. Then let's say nav also and hit tab. So this gives you an H1 with the ID now. So the next one we're going to look at is file icons by file icons. So you have to scroll down. So you can see here we have file icons by file icons. So we're going to install this. So now we have this installed. So let's close our atom. Let's reopen it. So let me just say this now. Some some features 
won't be applied until you restart your software so the auto live server also won't be applied until you restart your software so same thing as the file icons so that's why i restarted the atom so now you can see here we have our icons for different files so let's assume we created a new file and we save that style.css so we have this little three icon because that's the css icon so that's the function of the file icons so the next one is ask start by chris 911 so let's install this so this enables the accessibility to code samples from stack overflow in atom which is really helpful if you can figure something out quickly so this is installed now so let's assume we don't understand something in our index.html so we can go to the packages and you go to ask stack then you click ask question so my question may be let's say h1 and the language type in html and you ask so you can see here we have different questions that are being asked so you can see i only add a span tag in the h1 tag and if you want to check more about that you can click on the show more it should take you to the website and yeah, you can also load more to check for other questions so we'll close this up so the last attribute we're going to look at is the mini map this one is by auto mini map so here we have mini map i will install this so this basically helps us to preview our full page in a small aspect of our page so you can see we have this little tab here where you can see a full page so that's the function of the mini map it's just a small map showing the whole page those are the basic packages that will speed up your productivity while coding using atom atom also has some built-in things so you go to your settings then you click on the things my, my favorite of all is the one dark for the ui thing and the atom light for the syntax thing the syntax thing is the theme of the text in the editor while the ui thing is the theme of other aspects of the editor so you can also change this to atom light you can leave it an atom dark or one light but I prefer one dark and atom light on this aspect. The atom dark seems too dark, but I prefer the one dark and the atom light. So we are going to stop for this video. If you enjoyed this video, you can also watch the video right here on the futures of the Visual Studio Code and also a playlist for beginners in HTML. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next video.